Okay. Uh, chapter 10, day one. What we're going to look at today is a, like an extension of what we did in chapter 9. Uh, what we're going to start out with, though, is what is a radian? That's kind of a new word for us. And how do we use radians? So, <clears throat> what is a radian? <clears throat> By definition, a radian is a unit of angle measure, all right? It's unitless, but it's, it's an angle measure. And a radian is about 57 degrees. So just how I can convert from meters to feet, inches to centimeters, miles to feet, you know, all of these conversions in angles, we have degrees and we also have radians. And so what we're going to do is we're going to talk in radians now for this next chapter a lot. And it, or like I said, a radian is about 57 degrees. Okay, so we think about 57 degrees. Well, all the way around a circle, I have about six of these. Six fifties is about 300, six sevens is 42. So there's about a little more than six of these radians as I go around the circle, okay? But to be more specific, it works out really nice. To go all the way around the circle, you go two pi radians. Remember, pi is about three, 3.14. And 3 times 2 is about 6. About 6 of these will get you around the circle. Specifically, 2 pi of them. So it's very convenient for us now to break apart the circle. All right? So what do we know? To go all the way around the circle is 2 pi radians. So if I start here at 0, if I go all the way around the circle, I'm at 2 pi radians. Well, 180 degrees, that's halfway around the circle. Well, if 2 pi is to go all the way around, 180 would be to go one of those pi's, or halfway around is a pi. So if I start here, and I head in this direction, I've gone pi radians. <clears throat> if I start here and go in this direction, I've gone negative pi radians. So instead of talking in degrees, we're going to talk in radians now. Well. If here's zero and here's a whole pi, then halfway would be a half of a pi. And what we do is we write that as pi over two, meaning half of pi. So here's one pi over two. This is two pi over two. The two's reduced, leaving you pi. This is three pi over two. And this is 4 pi over 2, which reduces down to 2 pi. So instead of saying 90, 180, 270, 360, we now talk pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, 2 pi. We talk in radians for this chapter. Just the same way you talked in meters versus centimeters versus feet versus inches, we're going to talk in radians. So what is a radian? A radian is a unit measure around 57 degrees, okay? Now, we can convert from degrees to radians, keeping in mind that 180 degrees is pi of these radians, all right? So let's look at how do we convert. So converting. If I want to go to degrees to radians, I want to start with degrees, and I want to find out how many radians. I'm going to multiply by pi over 180. Just like in science class, when you do your conversions, you multiply by an equivalent fraction, okay? If I want to go from radians to degrees, start with radians and end up degrees, I'm going to multiply by 180 over pi. Just the same in science class, you multiply by an equivalent fraction to convert. So let's take a look at the first one. For example, it might say convert 60 degrees to radians. All right, so I've got 60 degrees. I'm going to multiply, I'm going to use a dot, pi over 180. <clears throat> if you notice, if you're not sure which way to multiply, pi over 180 or 180 over pi, my degree symbol needs to reduce with this degree symbol. Degrees on the top, degrees on the bottom. I know that I have it set up properly. So now I, I need to do some reducing of fractions. 
I know that 60 can go into 183 times. My answer is pi over 3. Pi over 3 radians is 60 degrees. Let's try over here. 2.4 radians. Well, I'm going to multiply by 180 degrees over pi radians. Notice now my radians units can reduce. Radians. Okay? So I multiply 2.4 times 180 divided by pi to the nearest degree on my calculator gives me 138 degrees. Okay? So this is just basically converting one way or the other. You're just going to have to know if I want to start with degree and end up with radian, pi over 180 helps my degrees reduce, degrees on top, so my multiplier has to have degree on the bottom. To converting radians to degrees, radians are on top, so I have to have radians on the bottom, so I'm left with the degree symbol on the top. How do we use it? Well, we, we can use it to find exact values now. So for example, you might see a thing that says, what is the exact value of sine pi over 6? Well, I know that when I hear this word exact value, I think of our chart. I think of these special triangles. But now I'm in radians. So pi over 6 radians. Well, let's do a conversion first. Pi over 6 times 180 over pi. Well, this is nice. The pi's actually are going to reduce for me. 6 goes into 180 3 times, or 6 into 18 3, carry the 0. So 30 degrees. Okay. So sine of 30 degrees. Well, I'm going to draw the triangle anyways, but here's 30. I know the exact value of sine 30 is a half. Very shortly you're going to get good at knowing that this is a 30 degree angle. And so the exact value of sine of pi over 6, you'll also start to get very good at knowing that that's a half. If not, convert it, and then sine of 30 we know is a half. So we can use it to find exact values now working in radians. <clears throat> Here's another way we can use it. We can use it to find the arc length. The arc length. The arc length is the length of an arc of a circle. Okay? Let me draw a picture. Take away that middle line. Alright. So, the length of an arc of a circle. We have a formula that you have to just memorize. Arc length is the radius of the circle times the angle, but this angle must be in radians. So let's say I have an angle that looks like this. All right? The radius is here. The angle is this, that's the angle. The arc length is from here to here. That is S. S, I don't know why they use letter S, but arc length, the length of the arc, is the radius of the circle times the angle that the arc encompasses, but you have to be in radians. So we use radians to find arc length. Let's look at a problem. Find the arc length if the radius is 10 and the angle is 4 radians. Well, again, here's my formula. Arc length equals radius 10 angle 4. The arc length then is 40. Radians is a unitless measure. So I have 10 feet times 4 is 40 feet. That is how you find arc. So a radian 
is just another unit of measure. So instead of degrees, we measure in radians. We can convert degrees to radians, radians to degrees. We can find exact values with radians. And we can find the length of an arc with radians. That's it.